All right, I still haven't got around to doing any of this crap. Got all this stuff sitting out here, all the rams out of this one. But um, this case is kind of banged up, but this is another one of these kind of like, it was supposed to be an entertainment computer. I don't know if this was like somebody put stickers on this because that's what it feels like to me. Um, but I think this was actually like a legitimate like company that made computers kind of like uh, the uh, cyber power ones where they've taken, you know, Asus boards or whatever. And um, so this was kind of neat because it had like stuff that, you know, you, you don't normally always get. If you had something like a flex radio, an older one, you might need a computer like this. It'd be kind of cool. It has a firewire, the two ESBs. I had a, I took this apart, had to repair something. I don't remember what it was, but it's kind of neat. And it had the uh, two drives here, and it's uh, got the fans on both sides, and. Um, I think there's another one in here. So the power supply sits right here in this one. Um, and then you got these. Um, so it wasn't a bad computer. I don't remember what the story was on these. I think they were just on the uh, DVD drives. I haven't seen those in a long time. I remember when I lived in Washington, I lived out in Redmond, and I used to find all kinds of crazy old computers. They'd be out near the garbage cans near all the different businesses in Redmond. And uh, I remember grabbing just a whole bunch of different computers and cobbling something together. Back then, it was hard to get a copy of Windows or anything. And um, that was when I started getting into uh, Linux when it wasn't really all that usable. I'm talking about like probably 2004 or 5, maybe? There, there wasn't no Ubuntu back then. It was uh, versions that were really hard to install. And um, PC Linux OS came out, I think, like in 2006. And it was like first one that was actually kind of easy to use. And then I think somewhere around 07 or 08, Ubuntu must have came out on the scene. So this computer here, I should probably just go ahead and put it back together with this other board that I have. As I think, uh, I can always get a case for something else. I think this matches up. Uh, I think. I'm not sure why. Maybe that was already on it. Because I think this came out of an SDR radio that I had. There was an SDR kit type of radio. Um, so this is just an AMD board, but it's kind of unmarked. But, um, I forget who it's made by. There's no real name on it, but it's made by a regular company. Um, I don't think it's Aces. Maybe they said it was an Acer board, I don't know. Uh, either way, it doesn't really matter to me. I know it works, I've used it before. So you just probably put that back in there, um... I don't think I have any other better DDR2 RAM floating around. So, what I would kind of rather do is have like a really super small computer with this in it. And let it run a print server. And I that's what I wanted to do, but I probably won't do it. It is almost, a, I think it is a micro ATX. It's pretty close. I mean, think like you could get a board that would probably be like to hear I noticed on Amazon you could buy uh, motherboards for 30 40 dollars like small ones you know they only have like two slots of RAM um, but anyway yeah I don't know I think maybe just just for, so this isn't laying around I'll probably just put it back in here um, or um, I could put the other uh, Asus uh, um, board in here instead. I don't know how well it would mount in here. Just kind of, I should probably go grab it and see. Put that over there. They'd literally take up quite a bit. But it would fit in here, no problem. 
I don't, I don't know if uh, the fan might be in the way here. Um, it's hard to say. The cutout isn't going to work on the back either. So it would fit in here, but we'd need to remove a few of these and move them over. Um, because they're missing in certain spots. Um, so there's no real motivation to put it here. Plus, I still need an Intel fan. And then I still need to address this piece here. Um, oh, is this a SATA controller? I don't know what it is. But it needs a heat sink, so we need one of these little black pins. I don't know what the hell these are called, but um, I'm wondering if I can just get one on Amazon. Let me put that board up there. So, I think all the pins and everything should still be in the right spots uh, for this other board. Maybe not. We need to look and see. Um, Because it's kind of critical to keep the board from bowing out and doing weird stuff. It looks like, uh, to me, there's one missing there. This had the, uh, this had, this, this board was in this one. Maybe I should put that back in there. Um, but originally, yeah, that, that whole board was, was in that, in this one right here. I mean, it was like, huge. <laughs> stuffed in there so they, they you know it was supposed to be the ultimate media PC you know back in 2009 it had a terabyte hard drive you know it's like wow pretty cool so I could put that one back in there uh, that would probably pull this one and um, swap something else in here one of the Asus boards um, but this right now has Windows running, so I don't really use it that much. So I don't know if there's even really a reason to play with it at this point. I need to have like a couple extra um, cases and some other parts before I get to worrying about it too much, I think. But I wanted to get in here and take a look and see what this is going to look like. Okay, so we got, now there's a piece here that's bent down, there we go, alright, I haven't seen a serial mouse or keyboard in so long, um, even at Goodwill, like, it used to be kind of hard to even find uh, ones with just USBs, um, so we're missing one here, and let's see, I think that's it. So the, these actually do unscrew. I think you have to pull the other side of the case, and there's a, a screw on the other side, or maybe they just screw in, they're just standoffs. I think they're just standoffs. So th this board would fit in here fine. Um, you know, it wouldn't be no big deal to put this in here. It's just I don't know what the hell am I going to do with it. But other than having like, uh, you know, where's the other power supply? Well, you know, I got like things laying around. Um, lots of things could just be put into this case so that they're just not laying around. Like, you know, extra power supplies, um, CD drives. We've got two CD drives that I pulled out of here. Actually, I pulled everything out of here. Um, so, you know, you get drives laying around. And it could all be kind of just put in here so that it's just sort of like, you know, out of the way. I don't think I would bother to put the video card in here, but that could be done. It looks like it has uh, PCI. Yeah. You could put one in here. Um, but then uh, I think the choices of power supplies, I don't know if they're limited by this or not. I can't remember. So, yeah, I don't know. Maybe I just need to find another computer case. They pop up from time to time at the thrift store, so, you know, um, it's no big deal to find one. 
but their prices are sometimes really crazy on certain stuff and then like you know what i show you guys is not like normal prices you know when i find stuff you know that they're usually you know i don't make a video about it if it's not a good price um but yeah and it's quite the adventure what's really kind of nice is it's pretty close to where i live so you know like i was going to go down there earlier um, but i just haven't decided to go yet and it's like five o'clock so it's kind of the worst time to go if you go there at like two o'clock in the afternoon right after they have you know sorted stuff in the back and put stuff out you can find like some amazing deals on stuff really really good deals and if you go there on a regular basis you will see there are people waiting in the parking lot and sometimes they know people that work in the back and you will watch them all emerge out of their vehicles and go into the store all at the same time and then you'll go in the store and you'll see here they come bringing out the the racks of stuff and putting shit on shelves so you know the only thing better than that was back in washington when we lived near everett we would go to the muckle teo um goodwill as is outlet and that was just absolutely amazing um i could sit there all day it was nuts but anyway um, I got to figure out what I'm going to do with these. I just really don't want stuff laying around because that's how things get broken. So um, I think um, I'll see about putting this board back in here and then um, maybe uh, find a different case for the new uh, Asus board because I have the back plate for the other one and then I need that little push pin. So that's about it. Um, I'll try and get some of this stuff done but uh yeah i enjoy doing this and lately this has been more fun than getting on the radio listening to people talk about their you know medical issues and you know like i was listening last night to the group that i usually talk to and they're just all complaining about how bad everything is and, and like a lot of these guys have it pretty good a lot of them have you know nice houses and, and decent money and you know retired or whatever they can buy whatever radio they want and they just sit on the radio and whine. It's like, dude, what in the hell? Ham radio is not your psychological therapist. You know, I mean, you don't need to get on the radio and whine about the same stuff every day. You know, it's nuts. So I've been getting into doing this stuff. Um, I'm sorry I haven't been posting any real useful content on the channel to my regular subscribers. <laughs> I, I never said I was good at doing anything helpful. <laughs> But anyway, it's kind of a personal blog, I guess. So we'll catch you guys in a bit.